Right, so now we're looking at the order flow. And what, we wait, what we're waiting to see is whether we can get cut divergence, and there it comes now. What we want to see is sellers coming back in on the bid and lowering those bids down. And there they're coming now, they're coming back in. So what we should see now is a probe into our value area. We should get a probe of the 15 even, and then see sellers probe back into that value area. Now, because we're trading based on value, we're not being intoxicated by the price. We are able to have the confidence that now that we're back within that longer term value area, that we should see either a test of the 127% Fib retracement level at 13.09 even. And that may not happen during the RTA session, so we may have to leave this trade on overnight but we can have the confidence of doing so because we we saw that earlier probe we've got negative momentum cumulative delta we've got negative delta occurring but on the um looking at the wider context that probe above our longer term value area high and the lack of continuation to the upside and now that we're back within that longer term value area, which is a green area that you can see on the screen, we are pretty much confident that we should be able to leave this trade open and our 10, 13, 10 and 3 quarter second profit target should be hit. Right, so on the order flow, we continue to see Sellers coming in and hitting the bid. We may see some buyers stepping in uh, around this zone because we've got the pop there. We have our value area high at 15 even. But notice that we're still trading off this because of that test of resistance of that longer term value area high. That probe to the left there above lacked follow through. And then that was followed up by that test of resistance at the longer term value at area high at 23.50. So we're continuing to see sellers hit the bid. So now probing down lower into that value area, sellers hitting the bid. And remember that we're trading off that test of resistance off that 23.50 level. Sellers continuing to hit the bid, probing that value area low. Now as we get closer to that 127 Fib retracement level at 09 even, our profit target is at 10 and 3 quarters. We're at 12 even right now. Sellers still coming in. That 127FR at 13.09 even, that's where our profit target is on the second portion. Let me just um, scroll this order flow chart up. Right, we can see buyers coming in there. We've got a buying cut divergence at those lows. We've got buyers coming in at the offer as we see new lows. So we should be pushing higher. We bounce off that. 12 even level. But we're still reasonably confident that with buyers unable to sustain offers above that 23 half bid level, the longer term value area high. We've only got a few minutes now left until the close. We've still got nine handles in this trade, four contracts. We took off the bulk of this position on our initial profit target. As we always do, we scale out of our trades. Normally we have three positions on, but because of the low conviction type of auction that we've observed today and leading up to our position, our trade, we only went in half size today. Right, so we're starting to see a slight rally into the close. 
with buyers trying to raise offers back above that value area high. We're seeing some buying coming in on the on the offer. But these new highs, we're seeing sellers come in to that 1315 level, our value area high. That 1315 even bid. And we're still looking for that 09 even 127 fib retracement level to be tested. We came close, we came within a handle and a quarter of that target, but we're still confident we're going to get there simply because we have come back within our longer term value area and what we would normally expect is to test the other side of that value area at 1303.75 but we know that the major key reference area between us and the longer term value area low is that 127 percent fib retracement level but as you can see from the order flow right now the buyers are coming in on the offer into the close so now we're coming up to the rth close we're still seeing buyers hitting the offer but we're expecting that as we approach our buy zone sellers should be coming in and hitting the bid If we look at the order flow, we should start to see sellers coming in and hitting the bid, lowering that bid. Now, just a reminder of why we got into this trade in the first place. We saw that probe above our green rectangle area, and then we came back into our green rectangle area, the longer term value area region. We then saw a probe again, creating a lower high. There's the... Um, Sellers coming in now on the bid on the order flow. So we've got a new high with sellers coming in at those new highs, creating a cot divergence. Anyway, going back to um, the structure of this trade. So when we saw that second probe of the longer term value area high, we entered our short position based on um, order flow execution confirmation at that time. Our initial profit target was at 13.15 and a quarter. That target has been hit, and we're still looking for our 13.1075 second profit target on our second portion. We normally scale it out of three positions, but because of the low conviction type of trade that we saw unfolding because of the day open type, which was an open auction above range. Because of that type of auction, we adjusted our position size, which obviously has an effect on the number of profit targets that we also have. All of these key reference areas that you see on the chart determined during the pre-market analysis session, the live PMA session that we do each and every day where we use the PMA pad to dissect the market so we weren't chasing the price today. it was pretty much clear from early on in the session that this was likely to be a low conviction type of auction and that's what we got right so we have RTH closed now we've closed and like I said earlier on that we were confident to leave this trade open because of the fact that we're trading the longer term value area. If we were only trading the intraday value area, then we would not have left this trade open. But because we're using the longer term value area, we have the confidence to leave this trade open overnight and we will come back and do an analysis and talk about the trade later on and see whether that profit target is hit during the Globex ETH session. Right, so we're back to revisit this trade and we're focusing on that region now. The order flow is still biased to the downside. We're seeing sellers hitting the bid with lower highs and lower lows. And like I said earlier on, the reason why we were confident to take this trade is because using our PMA pad, 
we came up with the key reference areas that were based around value. So we had our intraday value area. We also had our longer term value area that we arrive at by merging overlapping market profile graphics. And that gave us a confidence to leave the second portion of this trade open after taking initial profits on the first portion of our trade. So at the moment, the order flow is still on our side. And it's really a test of patience because we entered this trade initially just after 2 p.m. EST during the RT8 session. And we're now around four hours after the close of the RT8 session. And we're still in this trade. We're still looking for that 10 and 3 quarter profit target on this second portion to close out on this trade. usually and there we go the profit target has been hit there is still the possibility that we can still get a test of that 09 even but as we always do with our profit targets we usually have our profit targets between a quarter and a handle and a half above or below a key reference area so that particular trade was another example of how an intraday trade can become an overnight trade when you have the confidence to recognize where price is being auctioned in relation to intraday value as well as longer term value. And as explained in another video and also in our market profile webinar, we arrive at the longer term value area by merging the market profile graphics of profiles that overlap in order to arrive at a region of balance, a region of value for a wider context view of the market.